YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh here with a very controversial app review. Now what I mean by that is the app itself is controversial. The app I'm talking about is called iTether. And if you guys have read the blogs or read any tech reviews or seen any tech videos, you've probably heard about this because it's been quite a buzz. It's caused a lot of drama in the tech realm. And what happened is Apple pulled this app from the App Store in less than 24 hours because what it allows you to do is tether your phone to your Mac or your PC and use your iPhone's data connection without having to sign up for a plan with your carrier. Now, if you're like me and you have unlimited data and you were grandfathered in and you still have that, in order to tether legally on your iPhone or from your iPhone to your Mac or your PC, you'd have to sign up for one of the Data Pro Plus plans which is an extra 30 to $40 a month just to tether. The other option would be to jailbreak. And in Cydia, there's an app called MyY. And if you go back in one of my previous videos, my jailbroken apps and tweaks and whatnot, I do a demo of MyY and it is a very good app. It looks very good, it's awesome, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, so if you want to go that route, you can. I unfortunately am on an iPhone 4S and they don't have a jailbreak out for it yet. It should be coming soon, uh, but I don't have that option. So I downloaded iTether, and now I'm able to tether, and technically it's legal because Apple approved the app. It was $14.99 or something like that, and it's a one-time fee. You no longer have to pay a monthly fee or anything. You pay that $14.99 to download the app, and now you can tether whenever you need to. So there's two things you need to do here. You need to get the app, which unfortunately, I'm sorry if you can't right now because it was pulled, but if you already got the app, let me go ahead and show you kind of how to work it, how to set it up. So you need to download the app. You need to plug in your 30-pin uh, dock connector, plug in the USB port to your USB, and then plug that 30-pin dock connector into your iPhone. And then once you've done that, you need to download the Tether client, and they have one for Mac and PC. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up the application, and I will go ahead and show you that now. Here it is in the bottom here, it's just called Tether. And as you can see, it's just a very, very simple screen. It shows you the smartphone, which is the iPhone, how I'm connected, uh, packets sent, packets received, data sent, data received, and the status. Now once you have this little screen here opened up, go into your iPhone, and as you can see on the bottom left there, I have the tethering icon. Just go ahead and click on it and it'll go ahead and connect automatically so you don't have to do anything from here. And as you can see up in the top status bar here, I do have my Wi-Fi turned off just so I can show you guys the true power of the 3G uh, through tethering here. So let's go ahead and open up a web page and we'll go ahead and get started. It starts you off on the tether page itself, but let's go ahead and just click on a site like ESPN. And this has a lot of pictures, it's got video, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. So as you can see, the data, it loads really quickly for a tethering app. So let's go ahead and try a few more. Uh, let's go ahead and try Best Buy. Again, this is a very photo intensive page. You got a lot of ads and whatnot. And that works just fine. I mean, it's not Wi-Fi, but it's pretty fast. You know, I'm not too concerned about a couple seconds lost here or there. So this is a great app, and again, I'm really sorry for you guys that weren't able to pick it up. It is a really cool app. I plan on keeping it. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. But thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.